Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will develop the lateral surface of a square base prism having base edge 30 and height 70. Right? The statement of this problem is available in the description box. You can refer to that. So let's start to develop the lateral surface of a square base prism. So as usual, first we will draw top view and then front view of the object, right? So let's draw the top view. The top view will be a square of 30 mm. You can draw it side by side and you can also note down the time that how much time it will take to draw while attempting the exams. And you can also see the line work. This is the top view of square base prism. Now let's draw the reference line. Take the projections to construct the height of 70 mm. Now this is the front view of the square base prism. So as per the statement, the one of the base edge of the square base prism is parallel to VP. This is basically a base edge of the prism. Base edge. This is side edge. Right? So one of the base edge is parallel to reference line or parallel to VP. So as per the statement you can draw it inclined to VP also. Now this is inclined to VP at the angle of 45 degree. So you can act as per the statement. Base edge. Now this base edge is inclined to VP. Now this base edge is parallel to VP. So if you will unfold this prism square base prism the so four number of squares will be will be there 30 into 4 the total length of the sheet will be equals to 120 So now this is the developed surface. We will divide this into four parts because four rectangles will be there. Each part will be of three centimeter. Can you guess the line type here? This line should be thin or thick? This line should be a thick. Because this is not an imaginary line. This is the edge of the prism. Further, it is given that the prism is truncated by a cutting plane which is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree. So let's find out the midpoint of the axis. First you have to mark the centroid here. Basically we have to bisect the line but it is a 30 mm so easily we can mark the midpoint here 15 cm 15 mm. 
but otherwise we have to use the compass here to find out the midpoint This is chain type line, right? So now this is the centroidal axis. So take the midpoint of the centroidal axis. 35, 35 mm. So here you have to mark the angle of 45 degree. This is chain line with thick end because cutting plane line is represented by chain line with thick end. Now let's do the labeling. This is one, two, three, four. You can start it from here also one, two, three, four. It's your call. So in the front view, first we'll see this vertex 2. So here we can write 2 dash, 1 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. So after removing this portion, after removing this portion, this portion is left with this height. This is the height of edge number 1, 2 and this is the height of edge number 3, 4. Let's do the labeling here. Here you can start it from 1, 2, 3, Four, one. You can if you will start it from three or two, like two, three, four, one, two. That is also correct. There is no problem. Here you will get some different shape. But if you join the edges, the final object will be same. Understood? Like I'm I'm starting it from one, two, three, and you are starting it from. 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. That's also correct. In our both the drawings, the developed surface will be different. But it will join the end points. The final object will be same. So let's take the height of the uh, edges. 1, 2. This is 1. This is 2 and this is 1 and this is the height of edge number 3, 4 and this is 3 and this is height number 4, 3, 4. Now you can join this. So how to join this with this uh, straight line or curve? we have to join it with the straight line in case of cone and cylinder only you have to join the truncated points with curve in case of cone and cylinder only so now this is the developed surface so this is the removed portion, so this portion should be a thin line because this portion has been now removed. One part is left that is dimensioning, so dimensioning is your call. I have already uploaded one video on the dimensioning like what is chain method, what is parallel method, what is dimensioning style, right? So you can refer to that very simple dimensioning is there here you have to write the base edge 30 take two extension lines base edge 30 here you have to write height here you have to write the angle 
and here you can write the length of the sheet so this is the developed surface of the square base prism still in case of any doubt please post your comments and subscribe to the channel please thank you so much